OpenAI's first agent wants to take control of your mouse and keyboard. So probably if you are using something like this, this is the last time you would want to use because mankind does not need this. But if your job is only drinking coffee, clicking mouse, typing something on the keyboard, you can be probably getting ready to find a different job because this is called computer using agent. I mean, what a terrible name, except that they copied this name from Anthropic and it's quite funny. They have created something called operator. Operator is a browser that is virtual, like embedded, that can do things for you powered by Kua. Kua, C-U-A, computer using agent. Unfortunately, operator is going to be only available for OpenAI Pro user. So if you are the very rich, expensive OpenAI user, then OpenAI wants to beta test with you. And that is also available only in the US, the richest country in the world probably. And if you do not have access to OpenAI Owen Pro, where you did not pay $200, I have something special for you. So first of all, this is Kua computer using agent, a virtual interface for AI to interact with the digital world. I mean, how many of you still remember Rabbit? This is Raspberry Pi, but Rabbit looks something like this. I know a lot of you might have bought Rabbit, but if you bought Rabbit, there is a teacher mode. This is like literally almost like that, except you don't have to teach. Operators basically, let's say operator is the agent, Kua is the thing that is powering the agent. So what it does is it uh, can understand every single pixel in your computer and it can understand the GUI, graphical user interface. So it knows where to click. For example, if you go say, I want to close this browser, then it knows where to go click to close the browser. If you say, I want to open a new tab, it knows where to go click to open a new tab. So basically, this is a GPT-40 model, fine-tuned or optimized for using the graphical user interface in your everyday computer. So GPT-4, vision capabilities with advanced reasoning through reinforcement learning, big words there. Kua is trying to interact with GUIs, the buttons, the menus, the text fields, people can see on a screen just as humans do. This gives it the flexibility to perform digital tasks without OS and web specific APIs. Rabbit did exactly the same. Uh, I mean, Rabbit doesn't exist. I wish OpenAI acquired Rabbit, I mean, but Rabbit was kind of a mess to be honest. So now Kua is what is powering operator. So if you go to operator website, you can see that operator is something like you can go say, can you book uh, five tickets for me for this particular sports game? So operator knows to go to Google, look for a website, book the ticket, option one. Option two, they've got a bunch of apps. Uh, it, everything is about ecosystem and integration. So if you want to order food, they already have got DoorDash. If you want to order grocery, they've already got Instacart. So you can, operator can go into that particular app and then do that for you. I think the best feature, like in my opinion, the best, best feature about operator is you can take control of the operator. So you can give operator a task and then you can say, you know, maybe this is the time I should not let the AI do it. I should do it myself. So you can go like enter your credit card details. I mean, would you enter your credit card details in the operator? That's a different question altogether. I wouldn't do it. I don't have a credit card in the first place. But even if I have a credit card, I wouldn't go inside OpenAI website. There is a browser inside that and entering my credit card pin inside that. I think it's absurd if I, if I ever happen to do that. Uh, maybe like, you know, I've got like amnesia or Alzheimer's, but I don't know if you would do that. So I wouldn't do that, but OpenAI tells you that you can log in, your data is safe, it stays until you have got the cookie place. I mean, all sort of thing. Like they've said, like they've got like this extensive um, security, you can't do prompt injection and a bunch of other things. So that's, that's what everybody would say. So anyways, this is operator, pretty straightforward, go give a task it would do certain things for you. You take control of it and then do it. Anybody who has op used VDI, virtual desktop environment, or if you have used something like TeamViewer, which helps you control the desktop remotely, you would know that this is a very similar setup there. And uh, this is operator and this is core. The most interesting thing to be honest here is that how it works. So you go to Kua, um, or you give a task as a text. The text is a task, like booking a ticket. And then it takes everything that is on the website, like the brow uh, tab, browser, screen, and then it uh, takes continuous screenshots of what is on the page. And then it makes actions accordingly. It moves the mouse, it does a lot of things. And then it is, like I said, it's a VM, a browser with a VM, and it does everything and then gets the response back to you. Now, in, in terms of benchmark, 
if you see kua open a kua for a benchmark called computer use not just the browser this is the most important thing os world so open a kua scored 38.1 and according to open ai the previous sota state of the art is 22% which is none another than open open ai's big rival which is anthropic so if you do not have access to open ai operator i think you are better of using computer use which is a which is like a docker image from anthropic that uses cloud 3.5 sonnet to do browser emulation um i've used it it's pretty cool but you can't do a lot of things with that and it is like slightly different and there like i think i've made a video as well where you can use computer use to control your entire computer so i'll link the video in the youtube description if you want to do that so no wait list straight away you can go use it irrespective of whether in the us or not now second thing is there are like bunch of other benchmarks for browser use just only the browser and web arena and web voyager are two and open ai kua is right now the state of the art in that it beats all the other existing benchmarks including uh, the web browsing agent not just like you know it's not like a, a pixel to pixel thing but even then it is open ai kua is much better than that and there are a couple of other benchmarks where they have compared you know the same os world web arena voyager they have compared with human being not exactly sure what is the methodology with which they compared with human but it's pretty interesting to see that you know if you take take web arena it's 58.1% and human is like 78.2% so it's very close to what a human being would do and open ai is explicitly calling this to be a research preview it's not a model that they're launching like i said it is it is a beta testing um and but the beta testers are like expensive rich subscribers of open ai you can see lot of different things like how it would do like for example there is a user prompt it says go to the plus section of cambridge dictionary finish a recommended grammar quiz without logging in so it does everything it goes there in fact for a matter of as a matter of fact there is an ad during the interaction open ai cursor sorry cursor sorry open ai operator a lot of different names knows that it has to close it and then it comes back to you with the final answer so it knows to navigate the web browser and i believe open ai would have done this very well i'm the it's no doubt that they've got uh, the latest state of the art scores because of course it's it's open ai they would have implemented it very well and the next thing interesting thing here is that they've literally compared it with cloud 3.5 sonnet so you can see the success rate so they are saying that this is more reliable in terms of the model and there are like bunch of other things that we can see that open ai kua is capable of doing it so they've said bunch of safety benchmarks but what i want to leave you with in this video is that if if your job is like i said just like click a bunch of buttons i've seen a lot of people in the industry especially big tech companies i've worked in big tech companies if your job is only log into the morning just like go click a bunch of buttons whether it is a mainframe job or whether it is a sql job whether it is an etl job something you're not a software engineer like probably like dba like database administrator or something then i think you have to start thinking that this is like 50% accurate at this point in solving what you can do nobody is going to straight away fire you tomorrow but the possibility of your task reducing into half if some random company trust open ai is high it is not going to be into enterprises nobody is dumb enough to give computer access to open ai if you are running a company so that is not going to happen but you can see the future the future is just almost here where it will reduce your job 50% that's one thing the second thing is even i don't feel very confident about giving access to open ai everything so if you don't want this to happen inside a virtual browser like a virtual uh, environment then there is an open source solution for you which does not require you to have access to kua the computer using agent so this is called browser use it's a an open source library in fact mit based library mit license library so this is make websites accessible for agents all you have to do is pip install browser use it's a it's a company i mean it's backed by y combinator and you can see that browser use web agent has 89% accuracy so if you go to open ai and you see browser uses web agent web browsing agent has got 87% here and this is like 89% accurate already so there are things there are companies that are doing better than open ai in this particular space 
and this space is just going to get more and more interesting because powerful browser automation you may not realize that automation itself is a huge market like i don't know how many of you know this company i might have told about this company before so if you see open uh, ui path ui path um, stock should i say uh, oh, surprisingly the stock has increased today and uh, last five years you can see the stock has gone 81 percent down market uh, cap should i say market cap so it's a 7.54 billion dollar company which is what open ai operator is going to take down ultimately or probably a remote call center where people are just sitting there to book tickets for you it's a huge market so you can see a lot of companies doing it but if you want to use an open solution where you can add your own key <clears throat> make customization i would strongly encourage you to use browser use let me know in the comment section if you want me to put together a tutorial about browser use but i guess it should be straightforward but any agent that you are going to let your computer use you have to monitor it at this point you don't want them to mess it up but again as a matter of fact the future is going to be here um, in this format where uh, you are going to enable a lot more automation and this is a very nice place for you to build your own startup as well like if you want to do something uh, like you can do automated testing like product testing i don't know how many of you are familiar with this an important part in the software development life cycle is product testing so you can actually automate the entire product testing there are a lot of other things that you can do the moment you can take control of my um, uh, mouse and keyboard um i don't know if logitech share is going to go down but funnily you can do a lot of things this is an interesting space let me know if you're trying to build some product in that i would love to know about it but otherwise open ai operator is just a copycat of browser use and anthropic computer use so by not having access you're not missing out a lot see you in another video happy prompting